our, our forces uh, deal with demining, uh, mine clearance of uh, minefields, uh, the usage, the active usage of uh, su suicide drones, and uh, the enemy is not uh, willing to give up its positions uh, that easily. And that is why there is a powerful confrontation with the strong enemy, the Russian Federation. The main purpose of the main uh, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine is uh, inevitable, is uh, remains uh, the same, to be the framework and support of the armed forces of Ukraine. We provide and sustain armed forces with the uh, necessary resources. Over the last period, four armor vest model of uh, and four model uh, of uh, helmets have been supplied to the armed forces of Ukraine. Uh, the Prozora system was used in this process. We also uh, deal with uh, contract uh, to include contracts. It's, we also deal with the uh, women armor vests, and also and also armor uh, vests with positive buoyancy. We are also uh, interested in a broad uh, extension of procurement of weapons and uh, not weapons, uh, personal protective equipment. Sorry, we also deal with the. Uh, summer BDU and uh, special underwear for military service women. We also deal with the necessary documentation. The second stage of uh, research and development and testing for summer BDU for women have been completed. We take into account the suggestions of service women and they were tested during this process as well. I want to remind you that the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine informed uh, that we create an uh, innovation development accelerator. Uh, we can see that how this search platform of, for weapons and equipment uh, is dealing, and this accelerator uh, will expedite this work and process. As for now, the most uh, up-to-date and relevant uh, systems are UEVs, uh, reconnaissance, and uh, analysis. Uh, we also have to deal with the modernization and upgrade of uh, ammunition, weapons, and equipment. That is why I want to pay your attention to all uh, interested developers and stakeholders to suggest your uh, issues and uh, proposals. At the same time, the Ministry of uh, Defense of Ukraine holds uh, the legal front line, and we were able to bring back uh, the r property area uh, which uh, previously was uh, taken from the ownership of the armed forces and the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. This property system and facility was brought back to the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. As a result of our operation, we were able to protect uh, rights and freedoms and interests of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. We also uh, we are also tracking how the enemy is waging an informational war, and now they are spreading uh, two uh, discourses. The first one is uh, about huge losses of the uh, personnel of the armed forces of Ukraine, and it's, it is focused to demoralize and hurt morale of our forces and increase morale of the enemy. But uh, in this situation, we can tell that first, during the war, uh, no party is um, posting its uh, casualties because they're always changing, and uh, based on this data, the enemy or another side and party can regulate their plans and make changes. But we can c have correlations. And the correlation is that since the beginning of the 2013 and since the beginning of February 24, the correlation of forces uh, was uh, the number of killed uh, fr from the Ukrainian uh, side were several times lower than the losses of the enemy. And yesterday we uh, shared the figures as we talked about last week at the 
uh, in the Hortiz Joint Strategic Task Force Operation Area, uh, the enemy had ninefold higher losses than we ha sustained. However, uh, every warrior is an irreparable loss for us. And if we talk about the southern direction, uh, 5.3 correlation uh, towards the enemy. And we highly val value our uh, life of Ukrainian soldier, soldier. The second narrative they are spreading is that they try to undermine uh, assistant, uh, support provided by the, our partners. Namely, they are trying to undermine the provision of assistance of uh, weapons, namely material uh, provided for, uh, for Ukraine. You can see on this uh, slide a Ukrainian Bradley after a direct hit of uh, Grad MLRS. The second one, the second picture is the crew of this Bradley vehicle. They have been evacuated and they continue to fight. The damaged Bradley is uh, undergoing a repair. Uh, the guy, the people from the 47th Brigade are informing us, uh, us, and they say that Bradley received a direct hit in the turret. Uh, the crew crew has been evacuated, and the driver uh, relocated the vehicle and put out the fire. As a result, they had a concussion. Uh, uh, from now on, we can say that uh, survivability of these vehicles are not just in words. This is the steel, and uh, it's very eff effective and efficient. And there is no equipment that has that can be destroyed, but there is equipment that save uh, that saves lives. We not only liberate the territories, but create favorable conditions to restore life in there. Ukraine does everything to hold Russia accountable uh, for its atrocities. For every killed um, person, for destroyed hospitals, kindergartens, Russia has to be held accountable. 2023 is the year of retaliation. Glory to those who fight. Uh, rest in peace for those who lost and gave their lives for Ukraine and uh, the detailed information will be provided by the representative of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. Thank you. And now we're going to be briefed by the deputy general um, uh, of the general staff, Brigadier General Oleksiy Hromov. Good afternoon everyone. The Russian Federation continues to wage war of expansion against uh, uh, Ukraine. Um, we cannot see any signs of mobilization. Uh, demobilization and preparedness for further uh, advanced actions around Ukraine. However, at the same time, the aggressor tries to perform indiscriminate mobilization measures and activities around Ukraine to send them back to Ukraine and replenish losses. As they always do, the Russian authority is trying to solve these uh, recruitment and mobilization issues uh, through the recruitment and enlistment of prisoners. According to our information, 460 prisoners have been mobilized. Um, if they reject their suggestion and pro proposal to join the ranks, there are special criminal articles uh, designed for those who rejected proposals. However, the, Wag the Wagner private military company said that they ceased to recruit prisoners to their ranks. As for now, the operational situation 
has not underwent, uh, undergone any changes. Our, um, the task of the enemy remains the same to advance to Donetsk, Donetsk and Luhansk uh, borders. In Donetsk operational area, the, aim, the main efforts of the enemy are focused on offensive actions in Kupiansk, Sleman and Marienka directions. In Kupiansk direction, the enemy intensified as assault actions in the vicinity of Masukyuka, Kharkiv region, where we saw projection of personnel, namely recruited prisoners. At the same time, the enemy continues to sustain casualties. Over the June 3, 3 and 4, more than 200 uh, heavily injured and wounded uh, servicemen have been sent to hospitals in the temporarily temporarily occupied territories in Luhansk. In Leman direction, the enemy continues to uh, use army aviation and other groups to engage our troops. Ukrainian warriors in the vicinity of Serebryansk, uh, Bilohoyka and Spirne engage the enemy and give uh, them no opportunities to advance. Um, the occupiers and invaders perform defensive actions because the second army of the world cannot do more. The defense forces of Ukraine continue to engage in the vicinity of Bakhmut and uh, do their best to liberate, liberate Ukrainian territory from the invaders. According to our data, according to our data, uh, the enemy continues to send troops to replenish their losses and positions. The hospital in uh, the vicinity of Persianyuka in Russia is full of wounded. Uh, we also uh, stated that one of the Z Storm Company sustained irreparable losses of 70 people among Russian recruits who came to the front line. Uh, we can see panic, um, psychological state and low morale. Among those invaders who are located and stationed in Bakhmut, we can state there are uh, talks and discussions uh, about self-mutilation uh, to be able to evacuate to the uh, Russian territory. Servicemen of one of the regiments try to force every other servicemen to fight and be able to uh, gain some losses as part of assault units. Our warriors do not let the enemy uh, seize Marienka and Avdiyevka. In the Vuhledar direction, our enemy is organizing the terrain namely engineer obstacles. In the Zaporizhia direction, direction, over the last week, our troops uh, advanced uh, up to three kilometers in Mariupol direction. We also liberated seven uh, settlements in Donetsk and the Zaporizhia regions. We uh, regained control of 103 square kilometers of Ukrainian territory. In Kherson direction, we focus on organizing uh, defensive uh, lines. After the Kakhovka hydroelectric power plant has been destroyed. At the same time, the enemy is trying to uh, con preserve constant military presence in Bransk, Kursk, and Belgorod regions as well as on the territory of Belarus. The main efforts of the enemy are focused on reinforcing defensive positions and perform subversive activities on the Ukrainian borderlands. The Kremlin authority continue to issue criminal orders to engage civil infrastructure installations in the Ukraine. Thus, 
over the last weeks, uh, over the last two weeks of June, the enemy used more than 140 missiles and uh, more than 250 UAVs, strike UAVs. We can say that the aggressor is focused on uh, targets related to logistics, infrastructure, industry, and oil and gas. Uh, in addition, the enemy uh, increased the number of tactical groups and task forces of missile troops in border in regions and areas bordering Ukraine. Or our data, the BAL uh, coastal missile system uh, artillery battalion is very effective. It can engage up to 500 kilometers and uh, enables to reach Zhatomir, Kiev, Poltava, Cherkas, Chernihiv, Sume, and Kharkiv regions. At the same time, the enemy continues to terrorize borders, uh, borders, uh, border cities of Chernihiv, Sume regions, dropping uh, guided uh, gliding bombs. Given the ongoing missile attacks, our uh, air defenses are getting stronger, and including by the supply of weapons and equipment provided for by our partners. I want to remind you that over the uh, over June, MiG-29 uh, aircraft have been supplied from Poland and uh, Slovakia. We are also uh, really we, we also hope to see F-16 fighters in the Ukrainian sky. Since the beginning of June, uh, air defenses of the armed forces of Ukraine destroyed 74% of all the guided missiles used by the enemy and more than and about 55% of uh, strike UAVs. At the same time, I want to congratulate uh, the air defenses of Ukraine on units mm, on the destruction of 300th uh, helicopter. And at the same time, the number of destroyed helicopters of the Russia, uh, the Russian Federation, is five times, five times more, five times more than during the war in Ishkeria and other conflicts. I want to say that the damage inflicted to air defenses is not only by the missiles, but also. Uh, screens and posts in telegram channels uh, and other internet sources because after the videos and photos posted um, the enemy is trying to seek and find our positions that is why you have to think twice uh, before posting uh, some uh, photos images and videos think twice when you post it on the internet and think of people's lives defense forces of ukraine continue to uh, conduct defenses and stabilization activities in our operational areas. They perform active um, positional defense in Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporizhia areas. And in some areas they are uh, advancing and liberating uh, our territories step by step. We have the motivation of the highest level because we have to protect our homeland from the enemy. Ukrainian army has gained significant experience and mastered and, uh, and uh, expertise on the battlefield. We are ready and we will continue to fight until we liberate our territory without, uh, with even our bare hands. But we have our weapons uh, provided by partners. And we are grateful to you for that. We are grateful to the whole democratic world. Please believe in the armed forces of Ukraine, believe in Ukraine, and believe in our victory. Thank you. Thank you, General, for your briefing. And now, Please welcome uh, representative of the National Guard of Ukraine, Colonel Mikola Urshalovich. Glory to Ukraine. Over the last week, the Putin's uh, regime continued armed struggle and aggression against our state. They concentrated main efforts on composite combined missile attacks on civilian infrastructure and in order to retain temporarily occupied territories and restore their lost positions. National Guard uh, 
National Guards continue to perform their tasks as part of Defense Forces of Ukraine and show signs of high combat effectiveness. In Kupin Sleman, Sivir's direction, the enemy used tube and rocket artillery and inflicted and stri launched aviation strikes on our positions of National Guard. Despite that, uh, we did not lose uh, our positions. In Bakhmut direction, uh, National Guard strike UAV crews and detachments assisted the advancement of the armed forces of Ukraine. In the vicinity of Vremivka and Veliko Novosilka, National Guards retain their positions and do not enemy advance. In the Rikhil direction, uh, separate units of the National Guard perform their offensive and assault activities and as part of uh, defense forces. Despite the high volume of mine obstacles and intense artillery shelling, we have partial success and we have advanced in uh, up to 650 and 1500 meters in the vicinity of Novopokrovka. In order to prevent uh, the collapse of the front line, the Russian terroristic uh, regime was uh, forced to resort to FSB uh, machine gun units in separate directions. From our part, National Guard servicemen continue to perform uh, to inflict casualties to the enemy in manpower and uh, materiel. Over the last week, our uh, units destroyed up to 80 invaders, uh, including 42 KIA and other vehicles materiel. Um, we also uh, destroyed and detected our, the enemy targets. Our special purpose units uh, destroyed uh, up to 25 um, liberators in the vicinity of Leman in the next directions. They also destroyed four tanks and one special purpose vehicles. 27, 27th Pacharisk Brigade, uh, Air Reconnaissance Brigade, perform higher results in Leman, Donetsk, and Zaporizhia directions. They detected and destroyed 14 tanks, one self propelled artillery system, seven um, armored fighting vehicles, and one special purpose vehicle. National Guard artillery personnel um, destroyed up to 170 personnel of the enemy in Leman and Zaporizhia directions. National Guard aviation performed 16 combat sorties uh, to engage the enemy. As a result, they destroyed 25 invaders, two ammunition dumps, and also engaged uh, platoon strong point and three, three dug outs with personnel. Uh, unmanned aviation uh, units of in Zaporizhia and Kherson direction uh, performed 21 combat sorties to detect two tanks, one self propelled artillery system, one gun, seven armored fighting vehicles, 11 uh, special vehicles and other, and to provide grids and coordinates for these systems. Uh, as an example, we also destroyed Son Cepok, uh, TOS 1A uh, Russian system in the Parisian direction. It happened on, on June uh, 9. Our units adjusted fire and engaged uh, these, um, this system. National Guard personnel works uh, alongside other units, namely the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the State uh, Emergency Service of Ukraine to help people who were trapped under the destruction of the Kakhovka hydroelectric power plant. Over these uh, weeks, we provided, we rendered assistance to 500 people, including three uh, children, and evacuated people and animals as well. Our servicemen also provide medical assistance. Since uh, June 14, we performed uh, EOD activities uh, in the areas where the water has lowered. 
and uh, totally we had 32 personnel as part of six groups and demining tips over the last week over the last week um, we performed demining tax tasks of the agricultural areas uh, on the deoccupied territories in Kherson and Sumer regions uh, our units uh, surveyed and did, and um, searched 1640 hectares of terrain and uh, disposed of 75 explosive ordnance uh, we also maintain uh, legal martial law regime activities and uh, allocate 300 guard personnel. Uh, during this time, we also uh, detained 50 perpetrators. Uh, National Guard units provide security and protection of 32 ministries, uh, departments, and administrations. Over the last week, we also uh, provide security for 111 diplomatic missions, council uh, agencies of foreign states, and repre uh, representations of foreign organizations in Ukraine. To ensure the curfew and martial law provisions, we uh, allocate 1,200 personnel. National Guard personnel is working as part of 77 mobile patrols and 46 K-9 specialists with service dogs. Uh, about we also checked, we also perform a check uh, measures at entry uh, and exit posts uh, around Ukraine. In addition, uh, National Guard personnel took part in 39 counter sabotage activities in 114 settlements around Ukraine. As a result, we uh, checked 7,618 uh, addresses, uh, surveyed 3,848 uh, vehicles, 12,738 people, and 2,226 mobile t terminals. We also detained 76 people for administrative crimes. Uh, overall, during these martial law tasks ta and curfew tasks, we detained 2,221 people, including 81 people for criminal proceedings. We seized one gun, cold weapon, ammunition and drugs. National Guard uh, personnel continue to perform their tasks uh, in order to prevent the unauthorized, unauthorized border crossing uh, during, around Ukraine. And there was a, uh, the West 2022 special uh, purpose border operation conducted recently. As a result of this uh, exercise, exercises, we uh, secured 12,355 people. As for the last week, we were also able to perform exchange of nine, 95 Ukrainian defenders including 29 National Guard personnel. We also released 512 National Guard personnel. National Guard of Ukraine uh, provides medical and psychological rehabilitation and support to Ukrainian soldiers and for those who came uh, back from Russian activity. Ukrainian uh, National Guard servicemen defend Ukraine in all front lines. Let's stand united uh, for the victory. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel uh, Urshalovich, for your briefing about the National Guard and about the environmental situation. You will be uh, briefed by the uh, by Colonel Ruslan Beregula. Good afternoon, good, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to uh, discuss uh, and have a briefing that the Russian occupation forces seized this uh, Kakhovka hydroelectric power plant on February 26, 2024. And the different manipulations uh, of this power plant started in October uh, 2022. On May 21, 2023, before the 
destruction of this Kahovka uh, power hydroelectric power plant, the occupiers and invaders stopped to perform any support activities uh, of this uh, area. And after that, the president of Ukraine stated that uh, invaders mined this power plant. On June 6, 2022, Norsar Norwegian uh, system fixed an explosion uh, in the vicinity of Kakhovka hydroelectric power, pl power plant and it states the higher power of explosion. There are no signs of there are no signs of external destruction from the plant and uh, on other facilities and it means that there were internal mining of this uh, power plant. A lot of medias tried to discuss started to discuss uh, that this destruction was performed by the high Mars missiles. However, uh, it were not it is it is impossible to destroy this uh, power plant by with uh, high Mars missiles because its warhead is not enough. And the destruction was performed uh, after the advance of Ukrainian forces in several sectors, immediately after the advance. Uh, I want to say that Soviet units uh, back in the 1941 had to use thousand, uh, hundreds of thousands of explosives uh, to, exp to destroy uh, some areas in Ukraine before the retirement and withdrawal. The destruction of uh, Kahoka power plant uh, could lead and uh, can lead to environmental problems and dangerous effects. I also like to add that since May this year, the Russian forces mine uh, hydroelectrical uh, facilities in Kherson and Donetsk areas and they try to flood uh, the areas to create artificial and man-made obstacles for our advances. And now about the mines and uh, danger. The flooding of several areas that have not been surveyed and checked and can also lead to the destruction and the uh, floating of Yaram mines of the enemy. Uh, uh, our priority for survey of terrain uh, is uh, in the island uh, district in the, in the vicinity of Kherson because before the flooding there were 6,000 people living there. There, also, uh, there is also a danger of mine explosives in the shore of the Black Sea. To clear the uh, these areas, we have already involved uh, uh, mine clearance teams from the armed forces of Ukraine, from the spe state special transport service, uh, state uh, emergency service, national police, national guard, and K9 specialists. Uh, as for the results of the survey, we uh, surveyed 1,500 uh, meters of terrain, 1.5 hectare, and we detected six uh, naval mines. Uh, now, as for uh, the Parisia uh, nuclear power plant, the bl the energy facilities, the energy blocks are uh, safe. The water pumping from the pond to the cooling area is uh, stopped because of the last uh, low level of Kahovka power plant, hydroelectric power plant. The 
and the water level uh, in this uh, pond is stable. We have enough water to cool the reactor, but in the future uh, these coolers will require um, water pumping resources as well. Six uh, hundred and twelve square kilometers of terrain have been flooded at the very beginning of the destruction. It's many uh, kilo square kilometers on of Kherson region and more than 60 kilo square kilometers in uh, Mekulayev region. On the, the occupied ter on the e occupied territories, um, flooded areas, are dangerous. We also uh, know that there is chemicals uh, to the areas. And it can also lead to the higher level of environmental and epidemiological uh, situation there. The threat of flooding is, uh, in some areas, is absent. In the vicinity of Olyvka and Atardakamimka, we uh, recorded the flooding of two cemeteries. Five pumping stations have been also, uh, and waste stations uh, have been flooded as well. And the main uh, waste uh, pumping station has also been flooded. It also led to uh, the flooding of chemicals into the river of Dnipro. At the same time, the seal level of chemicals has also been damaged in the vicinity of Kherson. It led to uh, leakage of such chemicals to uh, our environment. As for now, in the flooding uh, areas, 17 gas stations and two oil terminals are located. The threat of flooding uh, also affects the environment. As for now, at the very bottom of Kahoka power plant, there are layers of mud uh, and they accumulated pesticides and other chemicals from the agricultural activities. There are also lead, mercury and other heavy metals there. Some uh, levers, uh, layers of uh, the mud will have radiological contaminations. The overall volume of water in this plant was 18 more than 18 meters cubic meter cubic kilometers it was more than 7% of total water total water flooding and going to the black sea per year most of this water will um, f flow to the black sea and it will freshen the black sea uh, as well and it will lead to the destruction uh, of um, fish at the shore. The Black Sea areas were also fl uh, flooded and are uh, there are many layers of uh, mud there. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel, for your uh, information. Uh, we are grateful to our briefing.
This is Military Media Center, the only information platform of the security and defense forces of Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. Let's protect uh, what is ours.